Before the bronchoscopy procedure, equipment such as lignocaine jelly, used for the lubrication of the bronchoscope and airways, mucus extractor, syringes filled with saline, syringes filled with lignocaine injection, and the containers used for the collection of the sample should be kept ready. Position the patient on the ventilator, and once the patient is tracheostomized, insert the bronchoscope into the catheter mount and further into the bronchoscopy port. Always maintain the fraction of inspired oxygen at 100% throughout the procedure. Insert the bronchoscope into the tracheostomy tube through the catheter and mount slowly into the trachea. This is the lower end of the tracheostomy tube. Slowly insert the bronchoscope into the trachea by visualizing the position on the monitor. Once the carina is seen, look for two visible openings, which are the right bronchus and the left bronchus. Inject the lignocaine to anesthetize the airways. Lignocaine helps in preventing the cough during the procedure. Now insert the bronchoscope into the right main bronchus by going inside the right main bronchus. There, the right upper lobe is seen with three openings. The right upper lobe openings are filled with mucus secretions. Since the secretions are thick, aspiration with normal saline is preferred. After aspiration, examine the mucosal edema and bleeding. Now insert the bronchoscope through the bronchus intermedius. A high amount of mucus secretion is seen in the middle lobe and the lower lobe. On completion of the examination on the right side, insert the bronchoscope into the left bronchus slowly by visualizing on the monitor. For clear vision, instill a small amount of saline into the catheter. Once you go inside, the left upper lobe is visible, which has thick mucosal crusting. Examine the lower lobe thoroughly. Now instill 20 ml saline and perform the aspiration. Examine each part of the bronchus carefully. Overall, the bronchoscopy procedure requires 100 to 150 ml of saline. Instill 20 to 30 ml of saline for 5 to 6 times based on the requirement. Installation of saline happens at different parts of bronchus such as right bronchus, left bronchus, bronchus intermedius, and each part is examined carefully. Perform bronchoscopy for both therapeutic and diagnostic indications. Once the procedure is complete, slowly come out of the bronchus, check for any active bleeding, and make sure that the airways are active. Suction the secretions so that they will help in diagnosing the problem. Slowly bring the bronchoscope out of the tracheostomy tube. Bronchoscopy is helpful in the diagnosis and management of various airway and lung diseases. With recent advancements, bronchoscopy will expand its scope as a minimally invasive advanced diagnostic and therapeutic tool. Bronchoscopy is helpful in the diagnosis and management of various airway and lung diseases.